Hi, I'm Sarah Borders with Benefits Compliance Solutions. I wanted to do a follow-up on a video I did a few weeks back regarding the Supreme Court's decision to include, under the definition of sex under Title VII, to include gender identity and sexual orientation. Now, as it relates to employee benefit plans, this has already been brought up in the courts, and a recent federal court judge actually blocked the uh, enforcement and going forward of the final rules under Section 1557 of the Affordable Care Act. And now as it relates to those who sponsor a group health plan or other benefit plans and those who work with employers who sponsor a plan, you have to be careful for a few different things right now. The first includes making sure that eligibility for opposite sex spouses and domestic partners is the same for same sex domestic partners and spouses. That's the most obvious. Also, the benefits under the medical plan as well as the disability plan cannot be discriminatory for those who are seeking treatment for gender dysphoria or taking leave for gender dysphoria, including gender reassignment surgery. Also, one other thing that you may not have thought about is that it usually asks for sex or gender on the employee enrollment form. And this could also be considered discriminatory because essentially the benefits themselves cannot discriminate by somebody how they identify in their gender. So a good example of this is if somebody identifies as male but they biologically have a female needs, maybe they are pregnant or have um, a pap smear or some other sort of gynecological exam, they cannot be denied benefits because they marked male on their enrollment form. So you'll have to think about these things and work with a qualified attorney to make sure that you are buttoned up in the area of benefits, eligibility, and even your enrollment forms. So especially if you are self-funded and you work with the TPA, you, want, you don't want to assume that they just have all of this covered. These are things that will impact the employer directly. So make sure that you are buttoned up immediately going forward because this ruling didn't have a specific time frame. It just is in effect now. So I hope that is helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on social media. We'll see you next time.